In this screencast, I'm gonna show you how you can use the response system in Smart Online Learning Suite, which is a great way to formatively assess your students during class. Uh, it's interactive and there's a variety of different types of response questions. So the way that you're gonna add response questions to a Smart Learning Suite online file is by clicking on the Add Activities button on your homepage and selecting Responses from the Activity Templates tab. Once you are in there, you are going to see a variety of different responses, including multiple choice, true and false, multiple answer, poll opinion, and short answer questions. So let's start by looking at the multiple choice one. When we click on a multiple choice question, we can see a text box where we can enter the question, and we can also drag an image or browse for one as well. And then we have the option to include up to four multiple choice answers along with images next to those answers as well. Um, let's go ahead and just create a multiple choice question real quick. And if I click on the browse an image or drag an image, I can choose any image from my desktop here. So I'm just gonna select this random screenshot I have. And I can input all of my answers. And you can see as the teacher, I can select which answer is the correct answer. And I can actually go ahead and add another question to this response. I can do that a few times as well. So as you can see, as I continue to click that add a question, this might be in the middle of a Google slideshow or a presentation that I have. Um, and maybe I just want to throw out a few checks for understandings, but I can create several questions in here. Um, and then we'll show you what that looks like from the student end. Uh, so once we have all the questions that we want, we can hit the next button and it's going to allow you to review all of your response questions. So you can put a title for the series of response questions. You can put instructions for students on the right hand side. And when you hit finish, you'll have all of your questions and it will add this assessment to your smart learning suite online file. And uh, I am currently in teacher paced lessons right now. So all of my students that are in my smart online class are seeing this screen right now. And when I click start for class, it's going to load for just a second here. And then I am going to be uh, seeing this live results question answered screen. And just to show you what my students are seeing here. Um, so we've got, you know, this onomatopoeia example here, the students see the multiple choice and my students are gonna have the opportunity here to uh, go ahead and click on everything and I am going to be seeing the live results. So I'm actually gonna, I'll keep this back to my overview page. And now I wanna show you on the student end uh, what it's going to look like to complete a response activity. So as you can see, the teacher started it. Uh, I get a little pop-up that says onomatopoeia quick check. I have instructions here, complete the quick check, and then my class ID. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And this is the student view that they're gonna see. So we've got the uh, instructions up here. We've got the sentence. I can go ahead and click on my response. And then I can see that this is question one of two. So I can move to the next question. And let's get this one wrong intentionally. So I'm gonna click on this one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on and it says, here's my questions. It lets me do a quick review and I can hit submit all answers. It tells me that I'm not able to change those after I submit them, that's okay. And again, we'll get that little great job menu. So when I switch back to the teacher end, you can see that I completed two, two of questions. All the questions are answered here. And as the teacher, I might decide to uh, end this activity. And it lets us review as you can see right here shows us which questions were wrong, which questions were right. I can export the results. So at the end of a response activity, uh, if for some reason you would want to go through the responses again, uh, if you click on the refresh page right here, the refresh button, you can actually reset your activities um, in case you would want to do this again. So if I hit reset activity, you can see it's where everyone's ready to start. We're gonna hit start again. And now students are able to complete the activity again and answer the questions in the response form. Feel free to check out the next video if you wanna learn more about Smart Online.